Guardians of the Galaxy. star system. Sirius star system is the closest what they call black star, dark star to our solar system. That, that's how we know the Sirius system is actually our central sun that our sun orbits around. It's, eight, it's a dark star 8.2 light years away which in celestial terms is very close. Then you got the solar sphere, the lunar sphere, and the atmosphere. Those are the seven heavens. The rulers of them all, the rulers of all those heavens. Black beings. Humanoids, that's right. Black humanoids are rulers of all these heavens. That's right. So, Babylon is trying to trick us into thinking that the ones they call the greys and the reptilians, that they're extraterrestrial in origin. They are actually inner earth beings. These are entities that have been imprisoned actually, entombed in, in our earth for a very long time, probably millions of years. And they're attempting to escape from out of the earth through manipulating us. And on the flip side, our family, our extraterrestrial ancestors are trying to look out for us. They're the ones coming from the heavens. And so uh, we're actually in the middle of what you could characterize an intergalactic battle between uh, a species of reptoid, reptilian, type beings and these black humanoids that are what they say the guardians of the galaxy <laughs> I get that out and I haven't even seen it but again they always want to flip the script they want everybody to we want they want us to visualize everyone as the guardians of the galaxies except ourselves those reptilian beings have spawned have interbred intermingled mixed up their genetics with certain European looking cats, right? They're the ones that are called the blue blood, blue bloods, right? Those 13 bloodlines of the Illuminati. They're not even fully human. They're really what you would call mankind. They're kind of like a man. They're kind of like, kind of human, but they're really not. They've been bred and genetically manipulated to be insensitive and inhumane. So they can do things that, you know, someone fully human is going to be too sensitive, empathetic, sympathetic, and compassionate to do, right? They further the confusion amongst the apparent races. Now, I would avoid calling them extraterrestrials, number one. Let me say that. Uh, because that's, again, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a Babylon label. Uh -huh. ETs mm -hmm. and UFO. ET and UFO, those Babylon labels. Okay? Call them Star Nation. When you say in Kemet, they were known as the Anui. How we humanity was called the Anu. And our celestial ancestors were the Anui. Dogon called them the Nomo Titiani. Again, over on this side, Algonquin speakers, they would call them Star Nation, Star Nation people, you know. So let's 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 give them some like, indigenous identity, you know. But uh, the, 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 one of the best ways to commune with them through communion, intercommunication, okay. But actually, sightings is a form of communication. That they, you know, like when they appear, you know, what circumstance they appear, there's a message in that. 
They also use the crop circles as a means of communication. There's, there's a couple of crop circles that are called the, the most important crop circles ever. One of them was a picture of the reptilians with a message inscribed on what would look like a CD, a binary code expressed on a CD. And the message, when you translated the binary code into English, or translated the binary code using the ASCII key, it was a message in English that said, beware the deceivers and their false gifts and broken promises. There is much pain, but there is still time, and I will put in parentheses, to heal, mm -hmm. okay? Don't get caught up in right. the technology. Right. Don't get caught up with the deceivers of the nations, these same ones I'm talking about, because they're trying to trick I and I, right? And then their time, their conduit, is closing. Their time of being able to manipulate us is coming to an end, okay? Yeah, one of the things that said, believe there is still good out there. Because, right, you have Babylon or Hollywood tell you, you know, it's Battleground LA, it's aliens, it's uh, storm ship troopers, it's uh, Independence Day, it's the, the, the ones coming from outer space is the ones coming to destroy us, right? So that message that what they call one of the most important crop circles ever is telling us like, yeah man, believe that the good is out there. Again, going forward to this biggest secret, this biggest mystery, that the real guardians of the galaxies are our extraterrestrial ancestors. They look like I and I, they look like us.